Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm going to talk about the differences between symmetrical and asymmetrical IOGR. First, I will show you these differences one by one in separate slides. And then in the end, in a complete table form, I will show you all those differences. The first difference is about the onset of IUGR. In symmetrical IUGR, the onset is usually early, means it starts at less than 32 weeks of gestation. In asymmetrical IUGR, the onset is usually late, means it starts at more than 32 weeks of gestation usually. Coming to the etiology of IUGR, in symmetrical IUGR, usually the factors which are intrinsic to the fetus are responsible like genetic diseases and infections. Whereas in asymmetrical IUGR, the extrinsic factors are responsible like chronic placental insufficiency. Next difference is about total cell number and size. In symmetrical IUGR, the total cell number is less and cell size is normal. In asymmetrical IUGR, the total cell number is normal and cell size is small. Now let us talk about the ultrasound in IUGR. In symmetrical IUGR, all the parameters like head circumference, biparietal diameter, abdominal circumference and femur lens are smaller than expected. All the body parts are uniformly small in symmetrical IOGR. Whereas in asymmetrical IOGR, there is head sparing effect, but the abdomen is small. Head of the baby is of normal size, but the rest of the body parts are smaller. Next difference is about neonatal course and prognosis of IOGR. In symmetrical IOGR, the prognosis is poor and complicated. In asymmetrical IOGR, the prognosis is usually good and uncomplicated. The last difference is about the pondral index in different types of IUGR. In symmetrical IUGR, there is a normal pondral index, whereas in asymmetrical IUGR, the pondral index is low. The normal pondral index is 2 to 2.5 and it is calculated by using this formula, weight in gram divided by height in centimeter cube multiplied by 100. Now this, diff uh, this table tells us all the differences together. In symmetrical IUGR, the onset is early, that is less than 32 weeks, which is seen in 20% of the cases. Whereas in asymmetrical IUGR, the onset is late, that is uh, more than 32 weeks of gestation seen in 80% of the cases. The etiology in symmetrical IUGR may be genetic and infectious, and in asymmetrical IUGR, chronic placental insufficiency. In symmetrical IUGR, total cell number is less, the cell size is normal. In asymmetrical IUGR, the total cell number is normal, cell size is smaller. And in symmetrical IUGR, all the parameters on ultrasound are smaller than expected and all body parts are uniformly small, whereas in asymmetrical IUGR, there is a head sparing effect, but the abdomen is small and head of the baby is of normal size, but the rest of the body parts are smaller. And what is the neonatal course? The neonatal course is poor in symmetrical IUGR and in uh, asymmetrical IUGR, usually it is uncomplicated and um, having good prognosis in case of asymmetrical IUGR. The pondral index is normal in symmetrical IUGR and it is low in asymmetrical IUGR. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote. An optimist understand that life can be a bumpy road, but at least it is leading somewhere. They learn from mistake and failures and are not afraid to fail again. So thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.